You can see me better now. It's probably a little too much. Look at all this stuff on top of the bar that you never see. Look, there's our other Starlight stuff. More Starlight stuff. Lots of Dragon Ball Z. Obviously Stitch. Uh, there's a bunch of pop figures. Empty boxes and the Tiki. Blow up palm tree over there. <laughs> Don't see any light. Okay, cool. So this is just running off of Wi-Fi. Um, the uh, the convention center does have free Wi-Fi, but I think I'm gonna try to like talk to to somebody on the staff to see if I can get their Wi-Fi. You know, like the the other one, um, the not free one. And then uh, worst case scenario, Chevy's ready to run Hotspot on her phone with a rechargeable battery attached to it, so that we can just you know run that for the whole time uh, if we need to. Uh, but we're going to be working off of Wi-Fi uh, to run stream elements, and it's going to look exactly like this as far as the layout goes. Um, so you can see I've got the Colino logo onto our layout. What up, Texas Krypton? Tex in the house. Uh, and then we've got the, the switcher. The switcher that we use on our, uh, we used to use on the, the PC streams is there. It's back. Uh, I actually built that into the stream elements. They have a switcher as well. Um, so just something, I feel like uh, with mobile streams, uh, anything on the screen makes things look nicer, I guess is the way I wanted to word that. Uh, more official, I think, is probably what I'm thinking of. Um, I do think, I, I wanted to ask about like the chat across the top. Should I get that added onto this as well? Because I can do that. Or at least like a, a side box for chat. You're meeting another food and drink streamer tonight for dinner. Actually leaving the house. Are you able to say who you're meeting? Are you able to say? Nice tertiary backup. Yeah. Baps. Oh, okay. Uh, I saw on... Um, they were on uh, John's channel just last week, right? Uh, could be good. Then you can maximize and still see chat. Okay, I'll try. I don't think it would. It should just be another overlay that I can add to it. Uh, the problem is the mobile overlays um, are different. So, um, you know, there's just, I just got to figure it out. But that's just stuff to do on the computer. And if I figure it out, I figure it out. If I don't, then I get a chat box. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things. I don't know if it's, if it's too much on the screen. I did look up. Um, the Craft Beverage Expo is where we're going tomorrow. Um, I did look up, uh, event starts at 6.30 is when doors open for us. Um, there is, oh, they, they have listed now a hundred plus vendors from Pittsburgh and, um, people that distribute in Pittsburgh. So it doesn't sound like we're going to be getting too many folks that, um, aren't available already in Pittsburgh, which is a little disappointing because, you know, it's always fun to try new stuff, but it should still be good. Uh, 6.30 PM Eastern time. Yep. 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time is the doors, um, so that's the goal for us to start. They're going to have uh, snacks. Um, they're going to have uh, water for the DD, which is Chevy. Uh, they have water for DDs, bottled waters, um, and then snacks available for everyone. Uh, you get unlimited samples of every single product there, no matter... Like if you're the VIP ticket, which costs two hundred and five dollars, or my ticket, which costs sixty five. So, um, yeah, the goal is to the goal is to hopefully go live as soon as we're inside and have a connection. So, yeah, uh, we get a free sample glass. We'll all get a free sample glass. Chevy won't get one because she's a, a DD, uh, but we'll get a free uh, Craft Beverage Expo sample glass. Um, and I looked at the vendors that they currently have listed, and I actually can pull them up. That actually makes more sense. Um, Craft Beverage Expo. I'll pull them up because they actually had uh, quite a few people on the listing. Um, I know Wiggle is there, um, so we've talked about them. Maggie's Farm is there, but I got the full list here. Um, okay. Let's bring this one up. Uh, JAS Distilling, established in 2019. JAS Distilling. Uh, Yo, what up down south? How's it going? Uh, so JAS Distilling established 2019. I can go look up what they do. 
Uh, I almost kind of want to be surprised by what they have and not have 